Hello guys, my name is Coding Vampire. So the next topic is code generation. So the process of translation of high level language HLL into low level language LLL also called machine level language by the compiler is called code generation. So we have seen that we have been writing our C++ program in English language. But computer doesn't understand English language. It understands a binary language that consists of only zeros and one. So compiler convert is a language processor which convert high level language to low level language so that the computer can understand. So the process of conversion of high level language into low level language is called code generation. So coding exercise, write a program to print your name. We have already done this. So the next question is write a program to print the following data name house address, telephone number and school name. So open Turbo C++, start Turbo C++. File new. So I'll not uh, write the comment. I'll directly start off with the program. Hash include iostream.h and hash include conio.h the next step is void main parenthesis open the main body of the program I'll write clear screen then I have to display the following data the data include name see out name now colon okay sorry 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 I thought that um, nothing never mind so I have to display my name first so I'll write coding vampire now close the string now I'll use cascading now again I'll write less than less than then within single quote I'll write house address uh, something something then I'll close it again less than less than within single quote telephone number yeah. and then again name of the school school now followed by a semicolon now I'll close the program. Now notice what will happen if you not put less than less than in between. Okay. So I'll compile the program. Oh, it's displaying with zero error. How can we? Okay. Now I'll write less than less than here. Now I'll run the program. Compile run. So it is displaying everything in a single line. So here I'll use escape sequence. Now after displaying the name, go to a new line. After displaying my house address, go to a new line. After displaying my telephone number, go to a new line. Okay. Now I'll run the program. So here's the output. So, so the next program is write a program which accept two integer and find their sum. We have already done this. The next question is write a program which accept two integer and find their difference. So it is just similar to finding the sum of two number. Now I'll, uh, I'll write a single line comment difference difference of two number now uh, for the first step is we'll include the header file hash include iostream.h hash include conio.h then void main 
and I'll open the main body of the program. Here, what I want you to uh, want you to write write a comment. What are tokens and different type of tokens? Okay. Now I'll declare the variable. So I'll write int. So it's not necessary for me to write first comma second comma answer. I can give any name to the variable. So I, I'll give a comma b comma c for storing the answer. Now I'll type c out less than less than. Enter any two number. Then go to a new line. Semicolon. Then C in except the two number. Now calculate the answer. C is equal to A minus B. Then I write C out difference of the two number is. Now I'll again display the answer C. Get ch and I'll close the main body of the program. So um, before compiling the program, what I want you to I want to show you that what will happen if I'll not write less than less than. Now I'll compile the program. It is displaying me an error called statement missing. So less than less than is also a statement and semicolon is also a statement. So whenever you get a error call statement missing, search for the input operator or the output operator or the semicolon. So I'll write less than less than. Now I'll compile the program. I'll run it. Okay, so it is displaying me the previous output as well. So this means I haven't yeah clear screen. Clear screen. Now I'll run the program again. Enter two number three forty six. Enter fifty six. So the difference of the two number is two ninety. So the next question is write a program to accept two integers and find their product. So this problem is similar to the the above two. You just have to change the operator. Instead of the plus or difference operator, you have to put asterisk mark, which is shift eight. Now write a program with which accept two integer and find their division. So in this program, make sure that uh, you are entering the second number should not be a zero because anything divided by zero is not defined. So the Compiler would automatically exit out of the screen. So let me write this program to find. Okay, first step is to include the header file iostream.h. Now the next step is include conu.h void main. Now open the main body of the program. What I want you to do, write what are keywords and the keywords used in this program. Okay, so I'll declare the variable int a comma b comma c. Now I'll write c out less than less than. Enter. Two number. Now go to a new line. Now the first keep that the keep the first number in the memory location called A. Then the second number in the memory location B. Now I'll write C is equal to A by B. Now I end the C out. Answer is less than less than. C get C H. I'll close the program. Compile it. 
okay so is it time I forgot to write the keyword clear screen so enter two number 345 by 5 is 69 so what will happen if I'll enter 0 in the second memory location 345 again 0 so it's not displaying me the output because anything divided by 0 is not defined so the keyword used in this program are clear screen and get ch note that we are including the header file iostream.h in order to use cout and cin but cout and cin cin are not keyword they are called stream object and i'll discuss what are stream object because uh, this meaning of cout and cin are totally opposite in computer language but for your now you have been learning C++ for the first time so it will not be clear to you okay so then we'll so write a program to find a square of a number so this program is also simple uh, if we want to find a square of a number we have to multiply the same number two times so I'll write a comment square of a number First, I'll include hash include with an angle, angle bracket io stream dot h, then hash include conio dot h. Next step is void main, then I'll write clear screen. Now I'll declare a variable just a and I'll C out, C out less than less than enter a number go to a new line followed by a semicolon C in greater than, greater than A so whatever the user will enter keep that in the memory location A now I'll directly display the answer C out square of the number is less than less than a star a because square is mu is multiplying the same number two times and I write get ch close the main body of the program compile it run uh, for the 4 the square of the number is 16 again I'll run the program 345 so it is displaying me minus because every data type has some range so I exceeded that range and it is displaying me any garbage value so I integer have a range uh, right now I don't know exactly what is the range but we'll learn about ranges and more about data type in the next chapter data handling so I'll, uh, for example 12 so the square of the number is 144 so i'm wrapping up this video guy uh, and i'll see you in the next tutorial